Kraftwerk was a German group that experimented with electronic sounds during the mid-70s. At that time, they had been considered a novelty act. Now their music found an unexpected admirer in the Bronx. First, I want to know who was these funky white boys from Germany that had this futuristic sound. Uh, when I first heard Transfield Express, I mean, I just went crazy and started um, getting it jammed at every party that we played in the Bronx. And it was the Zoo Nation that pushed the hell out that record that just caught on like hellfire um, with the black and Latino community. And I thought this would be the music for the future. So once I got into Trans Europe Express, I started digging up a lot of other craft work records like Robots, um, Autobahn. So I looked around and started saying, I don't see no black electronic groups. So when we when when they came, when Kraftwerk came out with numbers, I said, yeah, that's where the, the electro funk would come. Taking inspiration from Kraftwerk, Bambada created Planet Rock, which would provide a blueprint for a whole new musical movement, electro funk, street rhymes and attitudes combined with electronic rhythms and textures. The track was created with the help of a young producer. It's hard for me to imagine music before Planet Rock, actually. When I moved to New York and uh, started hanging out with Bam, um, Trans Europe Express was really one of his favorite records. And I think, I think some of the reasons why it was a drum machine. No one, I mean, no, no rock groups and no soul groups really were using drum machines at that time. So the beat was really steady. They could mix to it, and uh, it, it was an interesting sound. I mean, it was a different, really different sound. This record made my job easier. This record allowed me to go to the bathroom. This record allowed me to go get a soda. I can play it from and just go take a walk because it was funky. It didn't make sense to cut this record, to, to be DJing it. It DJed itself. <laughs> 